Mushroom Wonderland. How's it going everybody? This is Aaron Hilliard. Welcome to another episode of Mushroom Wonderland. And this video is just a short clip of famous mycologist Paul Stamets take on whether you should cut or pluck a mushroom and on the sustainability of harvesting wild mushrooms. I did a documentary style video last year called Cut or Pluck. I'll put it in the description down here. You should go check that video out. But this is just a clip that Paul Stamets sent me. And so I'm really happy to have him be a part of this channel. And so make sure to hit subscribe and check out this clip with Paul Stamets here only on Mushroom Wonderland. Hi fellow Macanauts. I've been asked to weigh in on the debate about whether you should cut or pluck a mushroom. So in ecosystems that are in danger, that are shrinking, logically, if you remove the parents, you'll have less spores, less progeny for the future associations. So we have to contextualize this. And habitats that are not shrinking, that are more or less sustainable in their natural state are being replenished. And in particular, the saprophytes, I don't think Har harvesting the mushrooms by plucking them is a great concern. But let's keep in mind that mushrooms attract animals, insects, also deer, for instance. Deer cut the mushrooms and then they may pluck them and then bite off the stem butt several feet away and then drop it. We know from Psilocybe zionescens and azurescens that stem butts regrow. So in this case, plucking and cutting could actually help spread the species. So now I had a very interesting experience. Uh, Psilocybe baeocystis is very rare. I found it a few years ago. I was so excited, I hadn't seen it in 10 years. And I had just a few fruit bodies and I walked from my house down to my laboratory on a straight line, a little indentation in the grass. And lo and behold, one year later, Psilocybe baeocystis was growing right along that grass line path that I had indented into my yard. Wow. I thought, wow, okay, spores are trailing the mushrooms when you harvest them. So this is another way that mushrooms can spread themselves is by animals, me being an animal, you know, carrying mushrooms that I had plucked, not cut. So this debate is fun because I don't think there's one answer. I think we have to look at every situation circumstantially and also genomically in terms of how common the species is. So I um, welcome everyone's you know, comments on this. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that can be true um, about different people's points of view. Um, I don't think we can quote unquote paint the canvas with one brush um, each circumstance, I think, has a unique video and synchronicities, excuse me. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing other people's opinion. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching that video and subscribing to the channel. If you could jump over to mushroom-wonderland.com, get some awesome mushroom merch, and there's going to be more coming out. And until the next episode, much love, everybody. Peace out.